Hey guys, um, Tadpole here. It's been a while. It really truly has. It's probably been about a month. Um, I don't even know what to say, guys. I apologize for the little, uh, absent, you know, being absent from YouTube. Well, I wasn't totally absent. I was watching videos. I was commenting on some. It's just been extremely hectic, you know, with the, the gun ban, this and that. I've been mailing out those, uh, signing those petitions and everything online. Trying to keep up with that. I've been in contact with Pete and Eric and a few of you guys out there I've been in contact with. Just making videos just got a little difficult. You know, I was working a lot of overtime at, at uh, one point. And guys, I apologize. I got a lot of things. I didn't stop buying stuff for guns. I didn't lose interest in the hobby. It just making videos became a uh, second priority. So I want to get back into it. If you go and check out my brother's channel, Picot. Uh, five eight. I'll leave a link at the bottom. We're doing a project uh, gun over there. We went to a gun show, and it's sponsored by uh, Eagle Arms. And uh, he he must have dropped about five hundred dollars in accessories. And if you go to his channel, you'll be able to see what we're doing and what's coming up. And I can show you real quick. This is the project gun. Now he's uploading the videos, and you can see where we're left off. You know where we left off with that, and what I have to do here. I couldn't do it all at his house because he doesn't have the tools or the setup that I do. Um, for instance, for that, we're going to change out the muzzle brake. So, and we're going to take off the A2 uh, front sight. So I got the block for that. Bought at Brennells. And we're going to go with, we're going to change it in, from the A2 to this uh, gas block here. Oh, by the way, Salty Shellback, uh, if you happen to be watching, I want to thank you for the bottle opener. Friggin' awesome, man. This one here is the 30 out 6 the M1 Garand, baby. Salty Shellback, I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to leave a link to his uh, channel on the uh, below this video. He actually made these. Maybe uh, if you reach out to him, he'll be able to make one for you. <clears throat> uh, I bought an AFG. I want to try that out on uh, on my gun, on my AR build, if you guys remember. I just uh, bought this, the CTR stock. Yeah, I know. You guys know I already have one. This one's actually for somebody else. Uh, somebody else's project gun. They couldn't find it in their, in their area, so I got the mil spec one. That's what they wanted. And uh, hopefully you could see them uh, install that one. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, uh, I did a couple upgrades. Well, I did one upgrade to my Glock. Did the extended uh, slide release lever. I wanted to do the takedown lever, and I wanted to put the three and a half pound uh, connector in it. So, guess what I did? I got an extended slide uh, slide release for my brother's Glock 19, which he doesn't have it. So I'm going to put that on for him. I went and got two takedown levers, one for each, and two three and a half pound connectors. So we're going to try that. Now these are from Brownells. Um, I don't know if they're better or worse than the Ghost Trigger. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, so that's that. I got my brother's uh, F and H here. I gotta clean it. We went to the range. I actually gotta clean both clocks and that prior to doing any uh, work on them. But um, I shot that gun. That gun is phenomenal. Zero recoil, recoil, and I was actually pretty accurate with it. I I don't know what it is, but there's just something about full size guns. Like my brother's Glock 19. I have trouble with this. I, I just do. My hand comes over the bottom. I, I just don't feel like I have the support. You know? I just compare it to my full size Glock. And B likes to watch. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. And yes, they are empty. I also picked up, instead of a bad lever, and I actually installed that on my. I actually installed it on my AR build, 
But somebody recommended buying one of these and trying this out, so I think I might uh, swap it out and try one of these. Uh, any comments on that, let me know what you think, if, uh, better or worse than the bad lever. Uh, I did pick up some 5.56. You know, I, I'm not spending $15 a box. It, it's just not happening. If I come across it, it's 8 9 10 at the most, I'll, I'll pick it up. Fortunately, I got these all at different times. These two, I'm sorry, these three. You know, I got them all different times, and they range anywhere between $8.99 to $9.99 a box. So I, was, I just picked up a bunch of them. I just wanted to show, show you guys that. And it's all 5.56, five, not 2.23. Two, two, not that it, it matters to me. I'd, I'd buy either one, but that's what they had. So that's why I, that's what I got. So now for the upcoming AR projects, I also bought a 4-inch vise. For the time being, that's going to take the spot on my reloader. So I could um, take the muzzle brake off and do some work on the ARs. I got the soft jaws. For the for the vice so it doesn't damage the vice. The other big purchase that I got, I actually got it. Uh, oh, was it uh, around Christmas time? Palmetto State Armory. I ended up getting my upper for for my AR build. I got it in the mid mid length uh, gas tube. It doesn't come with a uh, with the bolt or the charging handle. It ha and seeing that I didn't buy it as a whole gun, they shipped it. I can't put this on the gun yet. Why? Because it has a bayonet lug. Corny. And the muzzle brake is not uh, permanently fixed to the to the barrel. So I gotta do that also. You can see that it's. Chambered in 5.56, five, it's 1 and 7 twist. Alright, so I got some work to do on this. Um, hey DJ, if you're watching this, DJ Alkaline, what do you think? Should I, because I'm going to remove the front A2 sight on this also, change the gas block. Um, I'm going to change the muzzle brake on this. And let me show you the muzzle brake I did purchase for this. This is a Troy Medieval Muzzle Brake. Compared to that. But anyway, DJ, what do you think? Should I just keep it with the drop in or should I go free float? Uh, free float? I'm thinking, seeing that I'm taking the A2 front sight off and the, and the muzzle brake and everything, I might as well change it over to free float. Uh, I'd like to hear what your opinion is, or anybody for that matter. If anybody's got an opinion, I'd be glad to hear it. Um, so that doesn't come with a charging handle or a bolt carrier. So I went up and got, at a gun show, I got the BCM Gunfighter uh, charging handle. I believe this was the medium one. All right. So And I haven't shot this gun yet. Obviously, I told you I can't put the upper on the gun. Because it makes it illegal in my state. The other thing that the gun dealer had was this uh, bolt carrier without a bolt. So I had to purchase one separately. Had the nickel bore on one. So I bought that. I want to try that out. The only thing it didn't have was the nickel bore on bolt. So I had to buy a regular one and put it inside the nickel bore on. He assured me that everything would be fine. Uh, he was just out of them. People were buying them individually, so uh, I was asked out on that. So I had to buy one anyway, so I just I just purchased one. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for a nickel boron bolt. So basically, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to be trying to make a lot of videos. I got a lot of support, a lot of catching up to do. I apologize for the delay and the hiatus I was on. Please, if you can, check out my brother's channel. Uh, we're doing some good things. Uh, we might have a surprise with that gun. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. We, we might be doing something special with that. I don't know. It's up to him. It's his gun. I don't know. But, oh, we're also changing uh, the stock on that. I have to pin. And I'm going to do a video on that, most likely, on how I'm going to pin that stock. Because that one's a little bit more difficult than the CTR. 
But this video is probably getting too long. Alright guys, uh, thanks again. Check out uh, Salty Shellback for the bottle opener. And check out my brother Picot 5.8. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy and stay safe.